Here at Tropical Smoothie, we have delicious and fresh fruit, like this wonderful watermelon. <laughs> you see that? Look at this fat ass, giant, morbidly obese squirrel. What are you doing? Isn't it interesting that certain foods directly benefit the body parts they resemble? Yep, makes sense. Not that serious. <laughs> not even hooked up to the leash. Come on, you don't even have a collar on. Let's go. Come inside. Come on. She's literally shivering, but watch. I have to go all the fucking way over here in the fucking muck. Come on, let's go. You wanna come inside? Do you think you're on the leash? Look, she's fucking shivering. Alright, watch. Your imaginary leash. Alright, let's go. I've never in my life. She literally doesn't even have a collar on. Baby, I've been waiting for this. Nigga, where's your protection? Huh? Where is your protection? Come on, baby, it's safe here. You know I got talking about protection. I was trying to feel something. You show your home. She got me working hard for that utopia. Bar. Fuck this. I'm finna tell her to get dressed and find me some lotion. I'm in here looking for a condom and I don't even got car insurance. I'm worried about the wrong protection. Are you in good hands? She done came over for a booty call. Now I'm finna be calling her an Uber home. Then she talking about protection. I know that Utopia box better smell like a safe house. Oh, God is good. I'm finna take the whole box. Cause that honey pack finna kick in. We finna be here all night. I hope she don't think just because I got protection, it's safe here. It's finna get dangerous. Okay, let's regroup. Fuck it, I'm just gonna hit it raw. Raw? I'm gone. Oh, baby, that's the name of the condom. I wish y'all was gonna protect you. you ready? Today I wanted to find out if a pawn shop could tell the difference between a $20 fake watch and my friend's real $15,000 Rolex. Hey, I got something. I'm just gonna get straight to the point. This right here on my wrist is a $10,000 watch. Yeah, you wanna look at it? You know it's not real, right? No, it is. They range like around 10,000. The diamonds are actually glued in. They're not set in. Oh, so you don't think it's real at all? It's not real at all. Feel that. Oh. It doesn't have a name on it. So how much would you give me for it then? I would throw it in the trash for you if you want. I paid $20 for this. Well, okay, well, I have a real watch in my pocket. Oh, so now you're saying that was not real. Maybe. This is a genuine Rolex. Take you a look. think so? Yeah, I think so. Look at it. Tell my old it's not real. No, that's real. How much one bet? Uh, five dollars. Let's bet on. You're starting to see some silver coming through that right there. Yeah. Well, this is supposed to be 18 karat gold. Five he then compared it to his real Rolex and told me it would say that it was 18 yeah. karat gold at the bottom. But to be 100% sure it was fake, I had him run a scratch test, a weight test, where it weighed about half of what it would weigh if it was real, then an acid test, and some other tests where he took off the backing and saw it didn't even say Rolex. So they're both fake? Yep, both are fake. Oh. So yeah, my friend got scammed. Let me know what else you should do. Hey, you motherfucking lie right quick. Let me see that lie real quick. No, no, let me let me see the lighter. Let me, come on now, my lighter on the leash. It isn't give it back. Let me, let me, let me see. 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 Just a lighter. Fucking different. Croissant ou pain au chocolat? Pain au chocolat. Pain au chocolat ou macaron? Un macaron. Excusez-moi. I'm Kashan, oh tous les lomo. Tous les lomo, so high, oh my high. Oh my high. Pas de peau, oh sexy. Pas de peau. Oh oui, oui, j'ai j'ai. Hello. Son. $4.99. Out of five. 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 Out of
I'd usually mess the little one with it. I'll work hard for my shit. The fuck? Watch out for this broke ass gas station. Bitch, if you still any money. Mike, you a fool, bro. Who didn't I let date my sister? I gotta go with Dre. Yeah, yeah, Dre. Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Dre. Who would I let date my sister? I'm gonna say RJ, JT, Drew. Nah, Dre for show. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Dre is not dating my sister. Consider my sister's in her late fifties. I would say all. I'd say all. Yep. Hey, no problem, guys. Thank you very much. Yep, yep. JT, you too little, bro. <laughs> Who would not let date my sister? What are they saying? Me? They're all saying me? Hey, y'all crazy! Who's the biggest clown? I gotta go with Mike or Dre. Nah, yeah, Dre, Dre. I mean, I would say me, to be honest. What? Dre? We all saying Dre? I'm gonna have to go with Dre then. Biggest clown is Dre. Hands down. Hands down. Dre for everything. Just Dre for everything. <laughs> well, they're all a bunch of idiots. So I'd have to say every single one of them. Biggest clown? I already know it's me. <laughs> Worst taste of music? I gotta go with Jake. No, wait. Yeah, now nah, Dre play some trash. I'm gonna go with Dre. <laughs> hey, y'all all got bad taste of music. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to go with Dre though, for sure. Yeah. Dre. Well, I gotta go with Dre for that one. Hey, Dre, you know that's right. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you, Super. Hey, y'all are just some culture. That's what it is. <laughs> I ain't got the worst taste of music. Nah, that's RJ. That's RJ for sure. Ugh, I'm low on health. Quick, give me one of your 98 potions. Mm, no, I'm just gonna have my mage cure you. <laughs> I'm all out of magic. Please give me one of your 54 ethers to restore it. Yeah, but what if we really need it later on? I I'm fairly certain we're gonna hit a save point after this battle if we can just- Dude, now we've all fainted. Use a Mega Phoenix to revive us. We need it now. No. Uh, Why, Why not? not? Because then I'll only have 14 Mega Phoenixes. Ah! Ew, they gave me a pickle. Pickle? No, Pearson, Pearson, no. No, no, oh, don't oh, do it, don't oh, do it. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck. I failed. Hey, Mom, can you go to uh, McDonald's and get me some nuggets real quick? Mom? Hello? Why aren't you responding? Fucking. Yeah. What'd you just say? I said you guys, are, both of you are mean as a collective because your fucking hair is so goddamn tight. <laughs> Everywhere you fucking go, you're like, mmm. <laughs> 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 it just springs, bitch. <laughs> Wait, that's the theory. See, I feel mad. <laughs> I feel fucking mad. Peace out, Luke. Uh, bye, Mr. Henderson. Have a good weekend, Luke. You too, sir. YOLO! What? You know, YOLO. You only live once. That's what the kids are saying these days, right? Right. Luke, you're late again. Sorry, Mr. Henderson. If it happens again, I'll send you to the office. No cap. No, I, I believe you. I meant take off your hat! But you know, that's why we don't talk to her anymore. What do you mean I talk to them every day? Oh! Uh, cool! Uh, Does anybody else have that friend who every time you hang out with, if it gets quiet for more than like 0.03 seconds, they just start saying some random ass fuck- And what I don't like is if the business is true- I wish I was a hippo. And I wish you would seek therapy. Hey, nails are going. This is different types of friends. Meeting your girl for the first time. <laughs> for sure, bro, for sure. Oh, what's up, Jake? How you doing, bro? Is this your girl? Nice to meet you. I'm Josh. That's awesome. Hey, about time, bro. <laughs> Jake, I know you're cheating on me, bro. <laughs> hey, that's my boy. Don't you hurt him. <laughs> bro, Jake will never have a girl, dog. <laughs> oh, what's up, Jake? Your balls finally dropped, bro? <laughs> How you doing? That's awesome. That's your girl? Great, bro. You tell you about his hemorrhoids? No? <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding at all. I'm actually very pissed off about this. Jake, just don't forget how to kiss a girl again, bro. <laughs> and take it easy, guys. Yup, yup. I'm so pissed off right now. I don't know. I just don't know what movie to watch. Oh, what's up, Jake? How you doing, man? Is this, um, is this, is this your girlfriend? Hey, that's cool. I'm Nick. Nice to meet you. Uh-huh. 
Awesome. So, uh, where'd you guys meet? Yeah, man, for sure. Oh, here they come. <clears throat> What's up, guys? <laughs> Dude, she is so hot. I can't believe he bagged her, bro. Blake, I'm on my way now, bro. Oh, what's up, Jake? How you doing, bro? Is this your new girl? Awesome, nice to meet you. I'm Drake. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at you, bro! <laughs> I am so happy for you, man. Yeah, that's awesome. God, mm, mm. Look at you in a headlock right now, dude. What should I cook today, Karim? You should make pasta. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Now, the reason I told her to cook pasta was because I saw this guy on TikTok call this the greatest prank ever. He took the pasta, cooked it, and then put it back in the box. So we did the same, and now we're going to get my mom's reaction. Mom, are you going to make the pasta anytime soon or what? Yes, I will do it now. Can you do it now? I'm hungry. Okay. Did you get it? Yeah. What is this? What's wrong? What is this pasta? Oh my god. Is it expired? It's cooked! What do you mean it's cooked? You have to cook it! What the freak? What is this pasta? Bruh! Oh my god, it's cooked! In the box? What the freak? Where'd you get that? From the dollar store? Mama, no wonder why it's cooked in the box, bro. I didn't know they're that cheap! Oh my 